All right. Hello, everyone. I know you were dying to talk to Daniel, but you'll have to wait uh, <laughs> until uh, August 26 when we we do our game. But hey, everyone, welcome so much. Welcome to uh, to a yet another edition of Conversations with Curtis. Thank you so much for joining. Super happy to have you guys here. This is going to be great. I'm very excited to play Contradiction Spot the Liar. Very excited to bring back Victoria Marcel Hemmingson as my my guest. Stetler and Marcel fighting crime again. It's going to be great. Uh, I'll bring her out in just a couple of minutes and make sure everything's working here. Looks like there's sound. The last time I, I played a game last week and I did one of those things where I thought I was muted and I cleared my throat and then I hit the mute button and I started talking, but I actually... It was the opposite, so people heard me clearing my throat and didn't hear me talking. So I think I'm back in the right place today. Um, but thrilled to have you guys. It's, I see a lot of, uh, you know, it seems like it's the, a lot of the regular gang, and I see some new people. So thanks all for joining. A couple quick announcements before we get started. Um, mostly, I, I set out a, a video newsletter just last week, so that has pretty much all of the. Uh, the announcements, but very uh, briefly, I hope. Uh, I'm excited to announce that I get uh, to talk to Sam Barlow tomorrow, the, the creator of Her Story and Telling Lies and the upcoming uh, Immortality. I think Sam Barlow is nothing short of a genius, and what he's doing with interactive movie making and games and FMV is just amazing. And so Really excited to talk to him. If you have a question for him, please join our, um, please join our uh, Discord channel, and uh, there's a little channel there that you can write a question to Sam, and I will relay that to him. So we'll make sure we have time for fan questions for him as well. Um, other folks, I think I mentioned uh, Brad Greenquist, the actor who turned down Curtis Craig. He and I will be talking sometime this month. Uh, Daniel Albu has agreed to an interview. So we'll actually have a conversation with Daniel Albu. Let's get to know this guy a little bit. Uh, that's coming up uh, sometime. And what's really exciting is the actor who stars in this game, Rupert. Um, oh, why can't I think of his last name? Um, it's, it's Rupert. He'll, his name will come to me or one of you will tell me. But uh, he... Uh, uh, he reached out to us on Twitter wishing us luck uh, and have, said to have fun with the game. And uh, I asked if he'd be willing to sit in and watch and, and play with us. And he said yes. So maybe in a future version of this game, we will have uh, Rupert Booth. Thank you, fun guy plays. Uh, join us. And then, of course, I'm going to try to get him to sit down for a conversation. And then finally, um, this is what's this is a cool thing about the gaming community that I have uh, witnessed. So I'm on a Mac. I'm on a, a, a nice iMac with an M1 processor, which seemed to me it would be a perfect uh, kind of computer, but apparently it's not the best for, for playing games. And uh, the, the person who um, created uh, Contradiction, Tim Fallen, he did this, uh, it's an independent game, and he did it in a way that for whatever reason, it doesn't interface very well with, with Max. And uh, I know it's been very frustrating for him, but, uh, and it's not working out. So anyways, I downloaded it and it just started crashing. And so I'm nervous and not worried that we're not gonna make this happen. Oh, hey, my first, uh, my first, our first uh, super chat, thank you. Oh my gosh, ZJ Wex, ZJ Wex. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, but uh, <clears throat> wasn't sure we we're going to be able to do this. And Daniel reached out to him directly. And I'm thinking, like, what's the chances that that's going to happen? Well, he reaches out back. He, he comes back to us immediately. And not only does he let us know that it's been a frustrating process, but he actually created a version for us to play on our Mac, which we have right now. And I mean, the fact that he was able to do that is just amazing. So big shout out to Tim Fallen for 
allowing this to happen today. Uh, and hopefully it will run as smoothly as possible. Um, and of course, I'm going to want to talk to him as well. So I uh, hope we can. So I feel like we're going to get a lot of cool interviews out of this. Um, final thing before I bring Tori out. Uh, and, you know, I just I just need to be totally transparent and honest with you guys. Um, and this all has to do with how Conversations with Curtis is funded. And it's pretty much 100% through our Patreon members. We do get some tips on, on these um, these streams, which is great, but it's all about Patreon. That's the way that Daniel and I can carve out the time to make this happen. This is a rough time for a lot of people. It's uh, The economy is horrible. We're, we're right on teetering on the edge of a recession. There's just lots of things going on in the world and people are having tough times. Uh, we took a huge hit this weekend. Uh, we lost over almost $400 in monthly donations. And it's it, it, it makes it difficult for us to uh, carve out the time. We, we we're not able to pay ourselves that much anyways, but now it's below that and it's becoming uh, worrisome and, and uh, stressful to, to keep doing all the things that we're doing and the content that we're creating. And we just want more people. I love this. I'm loving doing this and I want to keep doing it. So I'm just going to say right now, if you are in a position to join us, I want to try to make up that $400 if at all possible. The people who left, they didn't leave because they didn't want to support us anymore. It's just that they supported us for as long as they could and they needed to move on for various reasons. So if anybody can pick up the slack, it could be a lot of you for, uh, uh, you know, for our three or five dollars a month, or maybe a few of you can go to 20 or 50. It would be so great to get back to where we were so we can breathe a little bit more and continue to provide this stuff for you all. Uh, I hate asking, uh, but but I think it's, I don't know, I can't say it's important. It's important to me and, and that we're all here together. Uh, I want more of that. So, so think about it if you can and join us on Patreon. If you can't, then maybe a, 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 a tip in the tip jar on Twitch or a super chat would be helpful as well. But uh, we want to keep doing this. Uh, we have some great ideas about some uh, generative uh, projects, uh, some creative projects beyond uh, what we're doing. And uh, we want to just keep going. So, all right, that's my final pitch. I am now going to bring out our... Um, oh my goodness, Joseph, that would be fantastic. I'd be happy to be a $100 a month donor if things change, Paul. Yeah, believe me, you and me both. Um, anyways, you guys are awesome. Uh, I want to uh, stop chatting about money and I want to bring out our good friend. We haven't seen her in a month and let's do it right now. Everybody, please welcome my pal, Victoria Marcel Hemmingson. Hey, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> you went away. Oh no, let me bring her back. Let me bring me back. Where is she? Okay, you're there. Hold on, I need to share. Ah, see, all right, you guys all hang out for just a second. I need to get this thing going. Um, here's the problem. Is it's a new game and I've got Zoom and I've got Tori and I'm not sharing anymore. Now you need to share, okay. She'll be back in the share screen and I'm going to do this there we go and I'm going to do that and then now I think you're there there we go that's gonna work oh no let's not do that this is like the old days this is like when I um, oh boy oh boy here we go sorry you guys uh but I do think I have Tori here, so let's see if that works. There she is. You're there. Are you have to unmute? Are you unmuted? I'm unmuted. Can you hear me? Yes, but I now I can hear you, but they can't. So let me change uh -oh. the OBS audio. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Let's. I think this will work for now. Can I hear you? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Good to see you. How are you? I'm good. How are you? 
I'm well. How's uh, how's life? Have you missed me? Have you missed all of us? I really have. I've missed you. <laughs> I've missed the game. Um, I do miss the game. So it'll be fun to. This this game looks really fun. It does. It looks it looks like a it looks like a blast. And so we'll get into that in a little bit. But yeah, anything? Uh, how's your summer been? How, what's what's been? It's going any... so fast, but um, it's been great hanging out with my kids and um we're not really doing any traveling we wouldn't we we all had covid so oh, god yeah so um, that took up all last month oh really yeah everybody like taking turns getting it and um but we're all doing fine okay and um so that's so really that's been my summer so far yeah, I'm sorry. And, and it sounds like we talked just a briefly before this, but mm -hmm. it sounds like you actually got hit pretty hard. You, you had all the, the yeah, stuff. Yeah, I, I mean, it, I, I had all the symptoms and everything, but um, it really didn't, you know, by the by the fifth day, I was so much better, but it just kind of Lingered. makes you tired. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's funny. I went to the I went to the doctor today because my my doctor's taking a one year sabbatical, and so I thought, okay, I better go in and, and see him. And oh, he, man, I got I got a tetanus, a shing oh. a tetanus shot because it had been mm -hmm. ten years. Yeah, a shingles booster because I there's two of them, and I had hadn't done the second one, and then I got a <laughs> the booster for COVID. So I had three shots today. And and they took blood to make sure that I'm uh, so we'll see how I, I that was all today. This was all today, so I feel like Aren't tomorrow sore? <laughs> I'm gonna be so sore, and tomorrow it's gonna be uh, it'll be an interesting day tomorrow. So uh, so hopefully uh, it'll it'll keep us. Hopefully, it's not gonna hit you hard or anything. Uh, yeah. Oh, we just got uh, uh, Victor Chang. Victor, I am sorry. I don't think our widgets. Oh, they should be popping up. But Victor, you just gave us a $20 super chat. Thank you. Just said join or just join Patreon. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I want to see what you wrote. Also wanted to highlight how amazing this game is and recommend everyone watch Jesse and Dodger's playthrough of Contradiction for a rollicking good time. Fair enough. We have comp competition. We'll do. Um, <laughs> all right. You and I are going to fill time a little bit because I need to start this game. Okay. And then I need to share it. And then here we go. This is going to be, no, that's not what I want to do. So I'm going to go. All right, let me do this really fast. Oh, you're going to, okay, no, I think it's going to, I'm going to lose you. Yeah, I lost you. Okay. But I can still hear you. So okay. keep talking. Um, sorry, so everyone. Yeah. Tell me a story. Tori. Okay, so like what I'm gonna try to think of what else has been happening. Um, I kind of have a little bit of COVID brain, so yeah, I'm gonna use that excuse for for as long as I can. Well, what is it? Uh, I have COVID brain and I don't have COVID, so what does that say yeah, about yeah. me? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's just the times we're in, but um, um. Confirm. I've just been trying to write and, you know. Okay, so I think I'm getting closer here. Yeah, tell me about your writing. Everybody's, uh, people have actually asked and want to know about your writing. I'm just, I'm, you know, my other book, the one that um, won the award, I'm trying to do some revisions on because I have, I do have one publisher interested. So oh, I'm trying to, um, Trying to do some revisions on that, and then, and then I'm working on another one. And um, yeah, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. So, yeah, um, and then I'm going to take my son to New York. Uh, going to be moving back in a couple of weeks. Oh yeah, you had you had him for the whole summer, right? Mm -hmm. And not anymore. Yeah, he's starting school in the fall, so. Okay. All right. I think I did it. Let's see. I'm going to, yep. I think I did it. Uh, let me just do one final thing. So I'm going to, now, do you see it, Tori? Okay. I, I see. Yeah. You see the game? I Guys, see. can you all hear the sound effects and such? I hope so. So 
here we go. <clears throat> I'm going to reset the game. I haven't played it yet. I don't think I At need all. to reset it. I think I can just... Okay, Did you do any cheating? Did you look up any notes or anything? I didn't. And I and I I feel like I probably should have because you <laughs> it means that you and I <laughs> might uh might get stuck from the beginning. I did wander around just the the map a little bit, but let's start I'm gonna reset the game. Let's do I know that. the basic premise and everything. Okay, we're resetting. But that's it. That's all I know. Oh, but this takes us... No, we need to watch... No, we want to watch the thing. So let's... Let's do this. Let's watch the prologue. So the prologue... So there's these case backgrounds here. So there's been a murder. And, and I'll keep an eye out on the chat, everyone, to make sure sound is okay. Because both Tori and the game are coming through the same sound on my system unfortunately i can't uh, i can't separate them so hopefully it's going to be all right um so kate vine was murdered i'm going to go through this quickly because in the prologue uh detective jenks tells us all this she was part of a controversial business with a father and son uh rebecca Rand was the late she there's all this stuff. There's people in her life that we need to know more about. So let's watch the prologue and see how it goes. Here we go. My name is Jenks, Detective Inspector Frederick Jenks, and I've been assigned to a last minute investigation into the death of Kate Fine, a PhD student found drowned at midnight last Friday in a lake in the woods on the outskirts of the tiny village of Edenton. I have until first thing tomorrow morning to decide whether her death was a simple accident or whether this was murder. Was Kate murder. Vine appeared to the world to be a bright, confident, and unloving PhD student with everything to live for. However, a history of depression and alcoholism revealed in her medical records suggests that in reality she had become adept at hiding behind a mask. A lab report indicating a high level of alcohol in her blood, along with the late hour of her death and a lack of witnesses, makes a strong case that this was suicide. But the verdict overlooked some curious details. Why was her driving license found on the opposite side of the lake in which she drowned? Also, there were traces of morphine in Kate's system. Where did she get it? Kate was known to be a free spirit with a nihilistic love of danger, which may, in part, have something to do with a business course called Atlas, which Kate had joined and which she had been attending on the night of her death. Based in a large, stately home on the outskirts of the village, the exclusive Atlas is run by father and son team, Paul and Ryan Rand. Both were interviewed following Kate's death, but neither claimed to have seen Kate after the meeting, and both were understandably eager to themselves and Atlas from the tragedy. This isn't the first time that Atlas has been investigated. Atlas and their questionable methods, which may have suggested border on mind control. Ryan is married to Rebecca, landlady of Edenton's village pub, the George and Dragon. As yet, she hasn't been interviewed, though it's likely Kate visited the pub on more than one occasion. One of Kate's friends was Emma Bowman, who lived in Lodge on the road leading out of Edenton Village. Emma was also doing a PhD at the same university, but didn't attend Atlas. Interviewed after Kate's death, Emma seemed shocked and upset, insisting she hadn't seen Kate that night. However, it turned out her boyfriend had. Simon Thompson met Emma at university. After completing his degree around 18 months ago, he went to work at a shop in the neighboring village. He started at the Atlas course a few months ago. Simon insisted that he didn't see Kate after the meeting, but the sergeant interviewing him noted he seemed oddly unmoved by her death, which makes him the first person I want to see tonight. It's time for some answers. All right, well, we got some stuff. Um, what do you got there, Tori? What, do you, what, did, what did you learn, Detective? Well, this... Um... This course she was taking is super suspicious and seems kind of cultish and um, 
Very uh, Scientology-like, right? I was going to say Scientology, yeah. Mm. The boyfriend seems awfully suspicious, but almost too, you know, too obvious. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, so it'll be interesting to interview... Is it, what, was it a father and son? It was a father one? and son yeah, who yeah. runs this wife this of, company, of right? Son, yeah. Rebecca. Uh, well, I'm already having some trouble here. Let's see. Oh, uh, no, guys. So it's not, okay, it's not letting me resume the game. It's not letting me, if I do the prologue again, will that work? Nope. All right. Um, first time playing. Uh, do I want to exit this game? Really? Do I need to? How about if I do a tab? Yeah, uh, the other thing I thought was funny is that, uh, you know, the detective finds the, the license. You know, he shows up. No one else has seen anything, and the detective, when he shows up, he sees the license. Right, so. right, right. The police did not investigate the area very well. Right. Um, oh, shoot, I'm going to have to. All right. Tab out and back in. Yeah, I think so. Um, uh, let's do it. Let's see. Uh, can I? Let's see. Are you going to let me do it? No. All right. Sorry, guys. This is one of those things, huh? This is where... A non. Uh, okay. All right. I'm gonna do this for now. It's gonna probably pop out. Um. Oh, there we go. Hey, we did it. I'm so glad. Okay. All right. So. Let's check it out. Let's check out the pub. Everything can be heard. You can hear all that. Are you hearing everything okay, Tori? Yes, I am. Okay, cool. Um, I was just thinking, can we film Phantasmagoria 3 in England? Totally. <laughs> Absolutely. We'll have... Uh, Fun. We will have... Okay, where's that? Um, Detective Jenks can uh, help solve our crime. Yeah. So I think in Phantasmagoria 3, somehow, after it was all over, Curtis went to your book signing. And mm -hmm. and they had a lot to talk about because they dealt with, you know, some trauma, some, some mutual, you know, horrible trauma. They fell in love, moved to London, yeah, London lived yeah. a very nice, quiet life, and then something happened. Yep. And then we need yeah. Detective Jenks to help us... Uh, so and here's whatever happened takes us all over the very <laughs> Scotland. Very cool location. <laughs> exactly. We get to go to maybe go to Amsterdam, maybe yeah, all kinds of places. Yeah, that's good. Um, yeah, they're on the run. They're on a mm -hmm. worldwide. Uh, they're, they're being chased globally yeah. and they have to I like this. OK, so the one thing I did do is I realized I did check out all these places and I couldn't. But the only he did say to go to his first person he wanted to talk to is Simon. So this is as far as I went. The boyfriend. Yes. And so we can go into the woods. But I think we go to the lodge. All right. He's got some. Now it says that if you see this thing, this is a, a clue. So we need to click on it and it's, and, and then this is, as soon as I click on this, I, I'm done with any knowledge of this game. So when you say, if you, so if you see something that's highlighted with Very trusting, with that, leaving a bike you unlocked. Run your cursor over. Yeah. And if it looks okay. like homebrew equipment. Ah, this might come in handy. Why would a screwdriver come in handy? But that's going to be in our... Yeah. Ah, the one thing that, that Rupert didn't have to do that is all of the fidgeting. He didn't have to... Yeah. Or walk from one one room to another over and over again. 
Okay, so box of bottles. Box of old bottles. Yeah, very different. Yeah, yeah. Who is that? Monk Monk. Thank you very much for your, let's see. Getting a little, uh, video game controller spins around as the world GLHF appears behind. Video game controller spins around as the word GLHF appears behind. Don't know if I get that. Oh, that's uh, better. I, <clears throat> Some of the words were all kind of screwy, but these now it's a little better. Oh, wait, you guys can't see anything? Well, no, I see. Oh, the... you guys are all looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, they can, I can see. You can see, but I they had it see. on. Hello, everyone. Zuki, thank you very much. Oh my gosh, I'm embarrassed, you guys. Sorry about that. Um, boy, it must have been... God, we can only see it. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, you guys are awesome. We didn't see much. So what happened was Detective Jenks is looking for Simon. He just saw a box of old bottles and he grabbed a screwdriver. And so... This just popped up, and now we're all here. <laughs> I, so is this I gotta stop day are... drinking, I swear. Um, I know, I really have to. I was gonna talk to you about that. Yeah. So, um, okay. Is the box of bottles in the inventory now? No, but the screwdriver is. But I don't know what this is. So this is Kate Pines. Yeah, death. I don't know why it's. There's that. that okay, so this is just information that we have her driver's oh, license. Okay. It's well, like is, information in his notebook. This is all we know so far, right? So yeah. Kate's driving license was found on the bank of the lake near Kate's body with a piece of tape attached. So what's the tape? Unlocked bicycle. An unlocked bicycle is seen outside Eden Lodge. Whose was it? A screwdriver was found in a box outside Eden Lodge. Try using this, all right? How do I try using it? Why do I do that? There's no use for the screwdriver here, sorry. Okay. Box of old bottles. Okay, so we just know what our inventory is right now. That's that's pretty well it's a mm -hmm. it's a nice layout. A little little yeah. easier to, to deal with than the Phantas ones. Okay, so we can knock for Simon, it says. Sure. Do we want to see show tips? I just want to see some stuff. Wonder if forensics search the jetty by the lake question mark. You also have things you haven't asked Simon and Emma about yet. So there'll be some little tip. Hint keeper, like our hint keeper. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go talk to The game's music is, it is Simon? quite loud. Uh, yeah. Okay. Detective Inspector Jenks, I'm investigating an incident in the village. Can I come in and ask you a few questions, please? Um, yeah. Thanks for Thank subscribing, you. Thomas. Oh, he does not look. Uh, <laughs> he he does not. Uh, we can just go through Very here if you want. Uh, Emma's working in the front room. Hi. Uh, this is Inspector Jenks. Jenks. What's all this about? There was a death in the village. Kate Vine, I believe you both knew her. Yeah. Do you need to speak to both of us? Uh, I'll just speak to Simon first, if that's okay. Just come through. Is it okay in here? Oh, this will be fine, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, I won't be long. Okay. <laughs> I like his attitude. <sighs> nice. Okay, so your first interview. First, pick an item you want to ask about, then click. Okay, I'm told that the music is too loud, so let me see if I can. Uh, let's see. Okay, so there's not that. Um, we can select to ask what he knows. <laughs> yeah, but let me see. Okay, let me just read this first and I'll figure out how to turn the music down. Uh, contradictions will appear here and here. Your first interview, first pick an item you want to ask about, then click ask to see Jenks ask about it. When you've heard the reply, you'll see a summary of what was said in the bottom, in the box at the bottom. Uh, Simon said blah, blah, blah. He also said blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, Clicking any item you've already asked about shows the summary of replies beneath. 
Now click any reply to add it to the contradiction box on the right. You can add two replies at a time. So Simon said he last saw Kate on Friday during an Atlas meeting. Okay. Now you can start looking for contradictions. Find two contradictory replies and add them to the contradiction box. If they go green, sit back and watch Jenks interrogate your interviewee. Excellent. So let's see, am I able to, there's that. Um, yeah, I will figure out, let's, I'm not gonna worry about the music at the moment, but I will. I have heard from several people that uh, Rupert Booth is just really fun in this. And yeah, that is pretty loud, isn't it? All right, let's see. Oh. Yeah, he seems great. He seems great so visit far. Emma. Oh, no, I don't want to visit Emma yet. Let's, let's exit. Thank you. Probably be back later. Oh, no. No. I don't want to go back. All right. Let's Best to knock on the window for Emma. Simon always answers the front door. Audio, visual options. Ambient music, yeah, let's bring it down. There we go. Video vibrancy. I don't know, I think it's fine. Okay, let's go back to where we were. Zoom. Let's go knock for Simon again. A few more questions, if you don't mind. Yeah, how about, okay. So, Jenks hasn't asked Simon about this yet. So, so, so if I do Kate Vine's death, ask about this there we go when was the last time you saw kate Vine? um the last friday's meeting i think did you see her after the meeting no how long have you known kate that would be when we started atlas three months ago did you socialize outside atlas no how would you describe her what sort of person was she well, she's talented. Uh, she was full of life, you know? Sharp, quite sharp. Would you say she had any emotional problems? She, her mood, her mood could change. And, well, there was the drinking problem. When did you become aware of that? Well, she would come drunk to a meeting sometimes. And she would reek of the stuff. I mean, everyone knew, but nobody really said anything. So, tell me a bit about Atlas. Oh, it's just a business management training program for postgrads. And you started this after you left college? Uh, yeah. And it's on every Friday? Yeah, well, my group isn't doing it this Friday, but uh, one of the We're groups trying is. trying to spot okay. the contradictions. Thanks. Do we think we spotted a liar yet? Do you think he's telling the truth about everything? Well... <clears throat> I'm not sure about how. I don't trust him. But I, don't... <laughs> I don't either. And, and I don't know how well, like about how well he knows her, and he seems. I think he knows obviously more than he's saying he knows. Well, one just to back up a little bit. Um, my understanding is that you know this. I know that this is an independent game. So my understanding is that the the person who made this, Tim Fallon, that, that he did a Kickstarter campaign, raised, I don't think a whole lot of money and shot this himself, created himself. I hear he was even a, a, a composer himself for video games. And so this guy sounds, I mean, it's really well filmed. The acting is wonderful. It's a really, yeah. it's for, for the budget that they had. It's, it's just great. I, I really. Yeah, it's amazing. That's yeah. amazing he was able to do that. Ah, gosh. Okay, so we got that. And yeah, guys, I know that there is a bit of a lag in the video. I don't know if I have the ability to try to fix that today. But we will. I will. I will bring Daniel in, and he'll help me for next time. But uh, if he hasn't thrown his computer out the window by now. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we talked about Kate Vine's death. So he last saw Kate at the Atlas meeting on Friday. He only mm -hmm. known Kate for three months. He didn't socialize with Kate outside of Atlas and Kate often seemed drunk. All right, fair enough. Let's find out about the driver's license. But I thought, I thought, so he's not her boyfriend. No, he's the okay, other, he's Emma's boyfriend. Oh, the he's one, Emma's boyfriend. 
Yeah, they're That's living right. together. Yeah. And Emma <laughs> was her best friend or they were really good friends. So they went to college together or something. Right. For some reason, I thought they said that at the beginning, but I guess I missed. Okay. So let's ask about the driver's license. Streaming. Yeah, you guys are asking me. Yeah. Okay. Did you know whether Kate had lost this or not? No. No, I don't think so. I've never seen it before. All right. Hmm. Doesn't know anything about the license. Fair enough. I don't see any contradictions yet. Outside. Oh, that's my cousin's. He lent me it. Uh, I need to buy a new lock for it, though. So it's your bike at the moment? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's no bus service to speak of around here, so it's really the only way to get around. Bike belongs to Simon's cousin. Bike is the only way Simon can get to work. And the mm -hmm. lock is broken. It's a okay. weird thing to ask about. Like, it's a weird thing. There's got to be, obviously, there's something about the bike. Yes, the bike's going to come in. <clears throat> come in at some point. Let's talk about the screwdriver. Oh, doesn't look like there's a, a reason to talk about the screwdriver. Is it worth asking Simon? Jenks hasn't asked Simon. Let's ask him about this. Yeah. Hi, I Steve. noticed a lot of bottles outside. Thank you, Eric. Yeah, I'm at home room. For yourself? Well, no, I give it out to my friends and stuff. I tried selling it at first, but I didn't have any takers. Except for James over at Farmhouse. I, I used to trade it to him for, for herbs and stuff. Do you see James a lot? No, not really. Okay, so James does the homebrew. Simon's homebrew. Done that. Simon told Jenks about his homebrew. Who was... Oh, no. I want to hear that again. That was uh, okay. Here we go. Makes his own homebrew. Tried selling it, but only sold to James. Doesn't see James very often. Who do we decide James was? Do we know who James is? Well, I, I can't remember who James is. I just think it's interesting about the the homebrew and how Kate's the one with the drinking problem, and there seems to yeah. Yeah. Good. I wonder about that. I'm gonna read this one again. I noticed a lot of bottles outside. Are they yours? Yeah, I'm at homebrew. For yourself? Well, no, I give it out to my friends and stuff. I tried selling it at first, but I didn't have any takers. Except for James over at Farmhouse. Farmhouse. Uh, I used to trade it to him for, for herbs okay, and stuff. Okay, so we don't know him yet. Okay, but he's he's going to come in handy. He's going to show up at somebody. Let's find out about Simon's home brew. Already told us about that. Okay, so I don't think there's any... I don't think there's any uh, contradictions. I, th I have a feeling that if we go visit Emma, I think we need to visit Emma. And she's going to say something that will probably contradict what Simon said, and then we will figure out. Yeah. Let's go say hi to Emma. Uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. Don't worry. It's only a few questions. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's. Yeah, she's, not, <clears throat> she's not very friendly. Oh, I think she's nervous. Yeah. So do we want to? Yeah, let's let's just go. Let's go through the same system as before. Let's when be was the last time you saw Kate Vine? It was last Thursday in the college library. Um, I saw her and we chatted for a bit. She seemed her usual self. What was her usual self? Oh, just Kate being Kate. You know, a bit wild. Wild? In what way wild? Oh, she just used to question everything, you know. Have arguments with the lecturers, things like that. What else? Kate had a drink problem. Okay, so How well. noticeable was that? Well, it wasn't at first, but as the year went on, she'd be drunk in the afternoon. But I th think she cut down you what's know, towards wrong with that? college and when she started her PhD. <laughs> as I take a sip of my giant vodka. <laughs> Your moonshine. <laughs> my moonshine, exactly. Okay, so Kate saw... Emma saw Kate in the college library on Thursday, appeared her usual self, 
argumentative at college, had a drinking problem, didn't see Kate very often. Mm. All right. We did that. Let's check out about the driver's license. Yeah. Did you know whether Kate had lost this or not? Um, I don't know, but I, I don't think so. Okay. Those are the easy scenes to film. <laughs> <laughs> Those ones where you get, I don't know, but I don't think so. And cut. Let's take a break for lunch. <laughs> All right. Those are my favorite kind of scenes. Who's is the bike outside? Oh, it's Simon's cousins. He uses it to get to work. You know the lock's broken. Oh, I know. I keep telling him to fix it. Simon's cousins. Okay, that seems consistent, right? That's, that's what Simon, that's what Simon said. said. All right. Mark keeps telling Simon to fix it. Okay, so far so good. They're staying Hi, true sweetie. to their story. Who's that? Paul Reed just subscribed. Thank you, Paul Reed. Cool first name you got there. Uh, okay, Jinx hasn't asked Emma, but well, let's ask. What's the stack of bottles outside? Oh, that's all Simon's stuff. You better ask him. I, I don't know. Ooh, I think you do know. So the bottles have some kind of significance right yeah everything has to be have you ever tried simon's homebrew me <laughs> no i don't like beer i only drink wine i can't stand spirits either okay so here's what i have a, i have a prediction mm -hmm. we're gonna find out at some point that emma was drinking a lot of beer or she was doing shots of something we're gonna find that yeah. out later on yeah. You want to bet me a dollar? Right. Okay, good. Uh, what, we don't have any contradictions yet. Not yet. Do we go back to Simon? Or, I mean, sure, let's go back to Simon and see if we have anything else to say to him. What Can happens? We <coughs> to find somebody else, maybe. Be yeah. back later on, if that's okay. Well, if I go back to him, do I have... No, so everything's here, right? <coughs> Sorry. Simon's homebrew. Oh, okay, so we've got all this. So we can exit now. We're gonna go, let's go somewhere else. I'm a little nervous now. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. Okay. All right, I'm gonna check and see what our, our chat friends are saying. Um, yeah, so. Uh, was what not i don't know what the bottles are for but she knew about the home brew a way to enter that though yeah i don't know maybe maybe so but it um, didn't show up as a contradiction like it was it would have shown up right yeah uh pickle says what i like so far about this game is that there are not a lot of filler scenes it doesn't distract you from the game and was probably easier to film this way yeah, I think that uh, Daniel, if he's there, he might jump in. But I think that this is part of what makes FMV so accessible to uh, to folks right now in terms. Oh, somebody just did something. I missed it. But um, uh, for, for independent game makers that there's this we have this incredible access to to decent cameras and sound and we don't have to do all the filler stuff that, that the old games did. All right, why don't you take us somewhere, Tori? Where do you want us to go? Um, Atlas. You go to Atlas? Go to At Atlas? What's Atlas? The, um, wait, isn't it called Atlas? This one's, oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, what about Knock for Emma? What does that do? Oh, what? Knock on the Window to talk to her. Yeah, That's what? Weird. Can I just yeah. check that really quick? Yeah. Oh. A uh, few more questions, if you don't mind. A few more. Well, we've done them all. Bottles belong to Simon. Yeah, there's nothing. So if I did something like that, yeah, it doesn't really. Oh, I don't know what that means, so. I don't know. Okay. Let's Thank you. Out. Probably be back later. Okay, let's check out the map. Okay, so 
Do we want to, where did we say, oh, Atlas is way up here. What's this? That's, okay. Well, let's take a little walk around. So here, let's see where the body was found. Yeah, you said Atlas. Let's go to Atlas. Enter the Atlas building, go back to the woods. Oh, I don't think we're allowed to go there yet. I'll come back later, I think. Fair enough. Hmm. Is that, can you use the screwdriver on that? Well, I think because he's, we can try. Sure, let's try it. I think that um, because he said when he says we have to come back later, oh, it's not even letting us at this point. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, I think. Okay. Um, and usually if there's anything, I think I'm right in saying that if there's anything in here to look around, there's no like, uh, you know, the cursor doesn't, uh, the cursor doesn't, like in Phantas, it doesn't sort of change colors. Mm -hmm. But I think what happens is a, a magnifying glass will show up here when we're in a spot. So. Oh, okay. Right. It's, yeah, so you don't run your cursor over it. You just see the magnifying glass. Exactly. Those just go up. Um, all right. Okay. So, sorry. I, I'm seeing so much. I'm seeing so many chats, and I apologize if oh, really? I am not responding. I think you guys are doing, uh, just having fun talking amongst yourselves, but it's hard what to stay James? focused. What about James? They mentioned James, right? Was it he, James they mentioned? Yes, and he was at, Maybe oh, not find. there. Let's go back. Oh, James is at Atlas, but no, no. Go ahead into the woods. Ooh. Go to the lake junction. Go left into the clearing. I'm just going to wander around a little bit and see if we get our bearings. Okay. <clears throat> so there's nothing really here. Friday after 5 p.m. I guess we only have one day to solve this murder, but um, knowing us, it's going to take us a couple of months. You mean the story happens in one day? Yeah, I think so. Go right to the woods entrance. Go left to the jetty. Let's go left to the jetty. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Looks like we got... Aha! That's the thing that shows up, right? Yeah, okay. Looks like a piece of jewelry there, stuck between the boards. Well, he's good. Well, and truly wedged in. That was good. Uh, we, we, You and I both had to do that kind of acting, where you had to pretend that you were mm -hmm. trying to get something right, that was right. too hard. Of course, he didn't have to do it with green screen. He, he had it. Well, not, neither did I, I guess. So you're the only one who had to do all the miming. Um, but why... and this is not, we don't look around to find it. There, it just shows us there's something and then they just go directly to the clue. Right. You know what I mean, there's no, it's interesting. Yeah, the screwdriver can probably. Yeah. Ooh. Interesting. I thought forensics had checked the whole area. Obviously not very well. Not very well. Forensics, you guys are screwing up. Well, they missed the driver's license, too. They did. Thank God James is here. Okay. A broken pendant was retrieved near the lake woods. I have a feeling we can't use it yet. How do you use it? All right, there's nothing yet, but all right, we got the broken pendant. And now let's just go to the map here. Uh, the body was found here. Where are we right now? It doesn't tell us where we are. Let's go check out Abbey Farm, phone box, post office. Rebecca's pub. Yeah, let's go back to Rebecca's pub. We tried lock knocking on it earlier. Let's see. Still not open. All right, how about we just do a little hint here? Who would know most about jewelry? You also have things you haven't asked Simon and Emma about yet. Oh, we got to go back to her. Okay, but 
who would know most about jewelry? Paul Ryan Rand, Post Office, Abbey Farm. Have we met someone that would know anything about jewelry? Well, can they go to Paul and Ryan Rand? Yeah, let's check it out. Midwest Street. Go down behind Brandon House. Go left down West Street. Hey, this is something. All right, well, fair enough. Nothing to see here. No magnifying glass. <laughs> Oh, but he is doing some walking back and forth. He is doing a little bit of a little bit of cross. So I guess we go head right back to the center. So I think go left. Up. Call the chief. Calling the chief, I think, is him. It's like a, a major hint that I, my what I read is that we shouldn't do it should too wait. often. Uh. But, you know, we don't know what we're doing yet, so maybe calling the chief once. Well, what would if be... we <clears throat> went left down West Street? Well, what's here? Where are we right now? Okay. It's hmm. kind of cool that they... I wonder where they filmed this. It's a really beautiful yeah. little town. Yeah, it's a pretty town. Uh, but we got no clues. Nothing seems to be waiting for us here. So it looks like I know we need to get some more questions from Simon and Emma. But I don't know anything about finding jewelry. I have a feeling they're going to contradict one another about the pendant. So let's go back. Oh, that's a good idea. All right, let's go. I don't want, let's let's do Emma first this time. Okay. A couple more questions, if that's Great okay. Budworth in Cheshire. Wow, very cool. Yeah, let's check out. Let's ask about this for sure. Hey Zuki, how you doing? Ever seen this? <laughs> it's like, it looks I gotcha. That's my old necklace. I gave this to Kate. So Kate might have been. Yeah, well, perhaps, but I can't see why. She was always buying new things, you know, lots of jewellery, stuff like that. It's meant to be a bird in cage, but the cage's fallen off. Oh, I'll show you. Where did you buy it? I didn't. Some wanted present. Secret admirer? Mm, not so secret. I see. That's how it should have looked. It's called a freedom necklace. Do you mind if I keep this? No, not at all. So the necklace did belong to Kate. Interesting. I'm starting to wish I'd brought a spare evidence bag. <laughs> All right. Uh, freedom necklace card. So Emma had the complete necklace to which bird and cage necklace designed in Peter. So we got to find Alex James. He's going to tell us some stuff about this, right? Okay. Emma gave Jenks the card from her freedom necklace. I think that was really all, everything else we've learned. So should we go visit Simon? Yeah. Thank you, probably be back later. I'm sure we will, Emma. Let's ask him about the broken pendant. <laughs> you should ask about the freedom necklace rather than the pendant well okay then whoever you are thank you <clears throat> let's ask you know what this is yeah yeah i think emma had one like it actually you know what kate had one i remember because i asked her about it one night when we were all out drinking in college i was probably pretty drunk that's what college is all about I don't see any contradictions yet. Thinks Emma had a similar necklace. Kate wore the same wore, wore the necklace at college. Well, should we ask Emma if she had a similar necklace? Can we do that? 
I don't know if we can. Um, I don't think we can. Let's see. Nothing to ask him here. We got that. Okay, what about. Oh. I don't know. Let's see. No. That's all for the moment. Thank you. Replay answer. Uh, we already have. So we can't go back and ask new questions. We can only take the que the answers that we have and decide whether they're, they're contradictions or not, right? But it'll show up green in the box if there's contradictions. So I necklace think, right? is Emma's, but she gave it to Kate. Necklace called a free. Kate bought lots of new jewelry. Necklace was an unwanted gift. Oh, wait a minute. Let's go back. Did Simon say something? Uh, she said it was an unwanted gift. I'm not quite sure how to do the contradiction thing. The colleague was well. I thought it, I thought it had to show up green to be a contradiction. But if I and like, I, if I put this here, it says Emma said that the broken necklace was an unwanted gift. And then if I visit Simon, be back he, later on if that's okay. And he says thinks Emma had a similar necklace. Kate wore the necklace at college. See, so how do you make a contradiction? I guess the contradiction has to be their own contradiction. Like, how do I try to con click on one line to add to top box, another to add to bottom box will go green if there's a contradiction. So like if I do this oh, I see. and I this, see. it's not going to go green. So it has to be within the same box that we're in rather than. OK, fair enough. All right. So we need to go find Alex James. Thank you. Probably be back later. Yes. Okay, Michael is telling me to do a contradiction. You look through the lines, through the various answers, and click on the lines to put them in the boxes. Right, but what I'm saying is that can I find a contradiction between what Simon said and what Emma said? Is there a way I could take one of his lines and see if it contradicts with one of hers? Uh, okay, only what they okay, good enough, fair enough. Only what they said. Okay, that makes it easier. Um, let's see. So where would um where would this uh um where would it be? Uh, it's a jewelry store. Is it a jewelry store? Yeah. Alex James. Uh, public house, St. Peter's, post office, phone box, Abbey Farm. Hard to see that. I can't really see the, the words on the map. Uh, well, it says, this is Abbey Farm. This is a phone box. That's a post office. Paul Ryan Rand, Rebecca's Pub. This is, doesn't say anything. Eden Lodge, Simon and Emma, Body Found, Two, and then Atlas. Um, What's our hint here? You should call the chief for an update. Fair enough. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, how do we call the chief? Uh, oh, I think it's the phone booth. Yeah. The phone booth? Let's call the chief. Oh, look at that. This is like Doctor Who. That's cool. Do they still have those? Does the UK still have phone boxes? Chief? Yep. It's Jenks. Uh, I've questioned Simon Thompson and Emma Bowman so far. Oh, and I found a pendant by the lake, which turns out to have been Emma's. But Emma gave it to Kate. So, chances are, Kate... Well, just doesn't know about it. Simon doesn't seem to know much. I don't trust Thompson. And again, I don't trust Emma that much either. Me Try neither. and get a bit of background on them. You know, usual stuff. When did Emma meet Kate? How long have they known each other? How long has Thompson known her? Give me a call back when you've got some more. Thanks, Chief. Yeah, the Chief seems a little, uh, he seems a little bored. It seems like he might be yeah. ready to retire. 
I think so. Same old stuff. All right. Well, what do we do? We got to find some more stuff out. Wait, let's... So what did the chief tell us to do? We have to find out more information, right? Well, so did he give us more questions that we can now ask them? Or maybe somebody wants to go back to them again. Oh, right said Brett says we do have old style phone boxes here in England. Oh. But those red ones are rare nowadays. The ones you mostly see are modern style now and even those are being phased out. Mm -hmm. How long did Simon know her is the key? All right. So do we only have, can I, is this going to replay or is this, he's going to get mad at me for calling him back? <laughs> he's not going to answer. He's mad. Okay, fair enough. What did he, what did, I, I wasn't particularly listening. I was listening to more the way he was speaking than what he was saying. So do you remember what he said, Tori? <clears throat> well, he just gave a list of more questions to ask. Um, so going back to these guys again? He said he didn't trust either of them and he wanted to know more things about them. So I'm, that's why I'm wondering if, if we went back there, is, are there gonna be new questions probably. we're allowed to ask? Yeah, probably so. You'd think that, I guess, it, once we get enough answers from them, it's going to unlock more places for us to go, right? Yeah, maybe that's it. All right. Let's knock for Simon. A few more questions, please. Thank you. Okay. So, nothing new. But let's take a look at the stuff that he said so far. So, Kate finds death. He last saw Kate at the Atlas meeting on Friday. Only known Kate for three months. Didn't socialize with Kate outside of Atlas. Kate often seemed, I don't know, let's see. I don't know, I'm just gonna try something. All right, that's not it. I don't know. Okay, so. I'm still unclear how you put the answers from one and the answers from another in the two boxes. Oh, Simon, I was all, oh, I see. It looks like I can, oh, I see. See, I put two in here from before. It says Simon, where was it? Let's go. Simon has only known Kate for three months. Kate often turned up apparently drunk doesn't know anything about the license. But Emma knew Kate in college. Right. Um, wait, why do I have these things here? So what? Simon has only known Kate for three months. Kate often turned up a little drunk. socialize with Kate outside Atlas. Let's do that. And let's see if there's something else. Wait a minute, I'm getting a little, little let me see if I can um, see if you guys are trying to help me or not. Um, Simon said he knew her three months, but also commented on what Kate were up at college. That doesn't add up. Look through the line Simon said and look for the contradiction. Yes, yeah, Simon, timeline doesn't make sense. Uh, catch that till Cornelio mentioned it. Uh, something else. Wasn't the jewelry from college too? How does Simon know? Simon doesn't. So let's let's do this. I'm gonna. So if you if you if you put in one of the lines, like one of the things you think might be a contradiction in your yeah interview with. So now Simon, look. And then go to your visit with Emma and put in something in the lower box. Is I don't think so. Happen? I can only do it with him. So he's gonna he's gonna contradict himself. So uh, let's see the broken pendant. You should ask. Okay, we did that. Kate wore the necklace at college. So this is a contradiction. 
No, it's not. Aha. Aha, we got our first one. So how did you know Kate was wearing a freedom necklace 18 months ago at college? Well, I, I knew Kate at college, but I, I didn't get to know her till, till we started Atlas. Right, so you didn't socialise with her at college? No. And you didn't socialise with her outside of Atlas? Uh, no. You didn't see her outside Atlas at all? Um... No, no, <laughs> not at all. Uh-oh. Okay, we had unlocked an achievement. So Simon did know Kate at college, but why would he lie about that? We, Maybe we he knows didn't Kate use any better cheats. than he's willing to admit. And we got to 6 p.m. I wonder if Rebecca's working in the pub tonight. Which means the pub is now open. So we did really good. We didn't cheat. The music's really loud. Is the music really loud? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm proud of us, but let's see if we can turn the music down a little bit. I guess it's not ambient music. That's just the music music. Okay. Um, yeah. Alright, we're getting somewhere. Yeah, so people... Did you give any kind of a save? I think it saves on its own. I think that unlike Phantas, they learned from their mistakes and they just save along the way. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Let's take a look. Maybe I'm wrong. No, I guess I need to save. Let's save game one. Save gum. This will replace game one with a copy of your current game. Yeah, I think so, right? Should we save this? I think so. Right, replace game one with a copy of your current game. Okay. So this is where we're at. Oh, okay, so chief clues. The chief said try and get some background on Simon and Emma when they met Kate, how long they have known her, etc. Click here to listen again. Oh, we can just listen to his thing. That's how I can listen, re-listen to the chief's clues. All right. And that was that was the con kind of part of the contradiction. Oh, we got our first contradiction. Okay. Finding broken pendant, meeting Simon. Okay, cool. So I didn't really. Can you click on the contradiction? I just want to look at it exact what it says. Yeah. So how did you know Kate was wearing a freedom necklace eighteen months ago, at college? Well, I I knew. Kate at college, but I, I didn't get to know her till, till we started Atlas. Right. So you didn't socialize with her at college? No. And you didn't socialize with her outside of Atlas? Uh, no. <laughs> you didn't see her outside Atlas at all? Um, He's doing a good job of no, being no, way too good. Not, not at all. You could have... You could have played that a little more subtly, but that was funny. Um, <laughs> no, no, I, no, I just, I, yeah, I, whatever, you know, I, I met her, but I didn't know her. I mean, we hung out, but we didn't do anything. <laughs> we were friends, but we we're not really friends. We just were people that ran by each other. Um, all right. So I, I'm understanding it more now. At first, I thought it was the contradiction between two different characters, but it's, it's a contradiction within one Yes. Characters. Yes. So we're, we, um, all the contradictions that we find. Yeah. All right. This might be a little bit of a, this might be fun for the people at home. Hopefully the <laughs> blood won't come pouring out of me. All right. I think I'm all right. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> that would have been something. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's go to the pub. And man. Okay. We're at 143. Oh. We were going to do two hours today, Tori. Is that all right? Are you still are you yeah, good yeah. at two thirty? Okay. Um, let's go ahead to the pub. Yeah, no knocking. Just going in. I like the Texas Jinx's hat. Yeah. Okay, so we got some options here. Press the bell. Yeah, let's press the bell. I like their, the cinematography. Sorry, it's really well, well. Detective Inspector Jenks. Rebecca, is it? Yeah. Mm. There's been an uh, incident in the village. I'm conducting an investigation. Could I ask you a few questions, please? Right. Come through. Thank you. Rebecca, you know something. You all killed her. What's it about? There's been an unexplained death locally. Not sure if you've heard. 
the student. Yes. Yes, it was dreadful news. You're married to Ryan, one of the Atlas leaders, yes? There's never I any two am, shots. Yes. It's always both. Well, I shoulder. just want to ask a few yeah, questions yeah. about Kate and Atlas, if that's okay. Except I don't know if I'll be able to answer others. any of them, but sure. Okay, here we go. I like it. I like it. This is really well. This is just really well done. It's very, yeah. very well it's formatted. It's, it's fun. It's mm -hmm. pretty chill, which I like. And uh, I don't, I mean, it would be a, yeah, I have a feeling we're not going to get any monsters tearing heads open, which is a bummer, but, you know, we'll just, yeah, we'll I mean, make that's do. a little disappointing, but <laughs> will there be any chases? <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be something. There's got to be some kind of monster let loose from an underworld, right? Um, Zuki says the whole thing was shot in 11 days. Wow. That's, that's, wow, that's so amazing. Cool. Yeah, I, I'm just so fascinated that people, this stuff can be done. It makes the head mm -hmm. spin. And it's very exciting to think about what more can be done. Yes. Um, Kate Vine's death. Let's talk to, let's talk to Rebecca, shall we? Let's do it. All right. Did you know Kate? He's Not off. very well. She came in a few times, but she was quite a moody person. Oh, she was going to say something she had else. Problems. When was the last time you saw her? Right. She popped in for a minute. And when was that? Uh, Seven-ish. Was she on her own? I didn't see who she was with. She put £20 on the bar and then left. What was that for? A breakage, presumably. £20? Just for a beer glass? <laughs> well, she was very drunk. She just put it on the bar and then walked out. Was there a broken glass? Not that I noticed. But she was a strange girl. All right. Hmm. Didn't know her well. Saw her around seven. I bet you that's going to be a contradiction at some point. Didn't see who Kate was with. Gave Rebecca 20 bucks for a breakage, a broken, a broken glass that wasn't broke, and she was very drunk. She almost called her the B word, but she refrained. Mm -hmm. She doesn't look, she looks so pleasant and nice. She doesn't, I know. I would never have thought. All right. Yeah, she just, this woman doesn't. It doesn't all add up, Tori. Very suspicious. Yes, I, you know who I'm starting to suspect a little bit? Mm. Jenks. I just, he seems like he just knows a little too much. Jenks we gotta, did it. Yeah, we gotta watch out for him. <laughs> Can we interview him? Have you seen this before? <clears throat> no, sorry. So you didn't know if Kate had lost it? Or that no she was idea. 21. Why didn't Carter? The... Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. He mm. worked for a pub. You gotta know what their ages are. Is it, is the age to drink in, in the UK? Oh, it's less 18, than, right? Is it 18? <clears throat> I think so. Yeah, I think it's 18. Um. Okay, did driver's license? Hasn't seen the license for it. Doesn't know if Kate had lost the license. Let's just see if this is, this is too silly, but. Bump, ba -da bump, 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 no. Oh, nothing. Okay, let's check out the screwdriver. No, on the bicycle. Um. Okay. Unlock. Oh, we don't. He doesn't want us to talk about the bicycle. Fair enough. Probably not going to talk about the screwdriver either. I'm starting to catch on here. Yeah, I was thinking she wouldn't know anything about that. So what about the homebrew? I'll bet they. Maybe they buy some of the homebrew. Hey, let's ask about this. Oh. Know anything about Simon Thompson's homebrew? Look how, Does he make homebrew? Much he's made himself at Apparently. home here. No, we do buy from a microbrewery, but we don't usually buy from kitchen breweries. Ooh, little little dig, little yeah. dig at home brewery. She had a little attitude about that. She has a little attitude. Yeah, that doesn't know I Simon don't. made homebrew. Buys from a microbrew, doesn't buy from kitchen breweries. Okay. I like I like Rebecca. I think I, I think she 
She's probably a murderer, but I like her. I think I think Rebecca's the murderer. <laughs> I think Emma was. I think Emma and with Rebecca and Simon got jealous. No, um, that sounds more like a, a soap opera. Mm -hmm. uh, broken pendant. Yeah, we're definitely gonna ask about that. No, we're not gonna ask about that. Huh. Of course. Okay, this is gonna get us to the. Do you recognize this? I've seen students wearing them. It has some sort of meaning, doesn't it? I forget what it is now. Seen anyone wearing one recently? Like Kate? Not that I can remember. Or Emma? He's writing it down. I like the image of him taking the notes and then we see the notes. I think that's good. Mm -hmm. uh, has seen students wearing the necklace? Thinks the necklace has some sort of meaning. Hasn't seen anyone wearing one recently oh let's try this and this dun, da, da, da. no okay fair enough um so we've done everything right hmm. yeah <clears throat> is there any contradictions here the contradiction is rarely in the same topic but i think it happens okay so let's see Let's check out everything that we, let's just see what she had to say. She didn't know Kate very well. Saw her at seven. Didn't see who she was with. 20 bucks, very drunk. All right, there's all that. Hasn't seen the license, doesn't know if Kate had lost the license. We didn't ask about the bicycle or the screwdriver or the bottles. That doesn't seem. It doesn't seem like there's any. Con do you see any contradictions in all of those? Um, are, are you able to read them okay? Like, what's that? Are you able to read them okay? Yeah, I'm just thinking. Um, hasn't has seen students wearing the necklace? Oh, Joseph saying, would she not have seen Kate at seven with the necklace? She claims she hasn't seen in a while. Okay. Let's do that. This is good. Hasn't seen anyone wearing one recently. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Corporal Hicks. Thank you. Hope the summer has treated you well, Tori and Paul. Cool to see you both joining forces for a new Let's Play. And what an ode to adventure gaming. Well, thanks Aww. very much. Appreciate that. That's great. Um, that was not it, but has seen the students wearing the necklace? Let's go back here. No. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay, I don't think we have any. Does anybody else have one they wanna they wanna try? Monk monk, nope, worth a try. Alright. She barely saw interacted with her. Alright, so I think we're gonna just have to go check some things out. What did she say about the are we going to ever find out where the bird in cage Alex James? Looks like we're going to have to go to London, Paris, or New York. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, why is that? That's where Alex James Jewelers is. Oh, I can't. Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. Okay. So, oh, there's a there's more in the restaurant. Let's check out. Go left yeah. to the restaurant. Let's do that. Aha. Uh -huh. I don't believe that she wouldn't have seen who she was with. So I don't quite get why they show us an area of the bar without giving us some things to, you know, look at or explore mm -hmm. or to to see. There's no nothing that, that lights up. Right. There's no. I mean, this might come in come in later. Uh, must come All right, let's check out our little hint. Was there something at the village hall? I don't know. That's kind of like Daniel, the way he he will give me hints. But he's got a little hey, more of an attitude get, about it. Where did you get the hint? The hint was right here. Was there oh, something was at the village hall? If it was Daniel, he'd go, was there something? No, I can't, I can't do an imitation of him. Go, Maybe there's something at the village hall, Paul. Um, okay, let's go check out the village hall. 
village hall. Where are you? Well, what's the village hall? I don't know. Oh, over here. E Edenton Village Hall. Eden Lodge. Wait, is this... Wait, this is those guys again. Wait, I don't think... Edenton Village. Is that this? Huh. Hey, MDQP, thank you for joining. Sorry. We, by the way, we started at 1230 today, and for the most part, we'll do our 12 to 2. But because I had the doctor appointment, I had to give myself a little extra time. Um, and the goal is to just do this on Wednesdays for whenever Tori and I are both available. And when something comes up, we'll let you know, and we'll just push it to the following week. So this could, could take a while. But you guys knew that already. Uh, walking around instead of using the map because you can come across stuff you would normally miss. All right, let's walk around a little bit. Let's see how, where, where am I first. Let's do this. Let's go to Abbey Farm and walk around the neighborhood. Okay. All right. So that's where we just came from. Don't want to call the chief yet. Let's let's. But where is the vi village hall? Village Hall is over by Edenton House, by the, where, um, go behind Brandon House, head right to the center. Let's see what's behind Brandon House. Nothing here, okay. I'm not quite as turned around. I remember how turned around we got in, in your game. Yeah, I'm This one I get way. a better sense of, of where we're going. Right, investigate. We so we were in the pub. It says investigate behind the pub. Let's oh, see yeah, if there's something back there. Oh, this could be good. He's got pointy shoes. Mm -hmm. Like a little cowboy thing. Yeah. I find those to be very uncomfortable. I wonder if he was forced with those shoes and had to deal with them. Or is this the kind a broken of window? Recently you know? smashed by the look of it. Might have to ask about that. Who are we going to ask? You go back and ask Rebecca about that. Yeah, I think you're right. Maybe that's what the 20 was for. Oh, boy, we got a lot of new stuff here. Leave the courtyard. Enter the outbuilding. Hmm. Uh, let's enter Yeah. the outbuilding. Hmm. <laughs> Can we use the hmm. screwdriver? No, we're going to need a key for that, right? If it was... Adrian Delaney, she would just use the screwdriver. I have a lot of keys. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You had a lot of keys too. Yeah. Mm. Twenty bucks for a break. Oh. Zuki. She just said twenty bucks for a breakage. Yeah. And there's a it broken the window. window. That's what we should ask. Rebecca. Yeah. Let's go leave the courtyard. I like the. Yeah, they're doing all. The, I like the transitions. And it's funny because they put his feet toward what we're going to see. So they really do a nice job of orienting us. Mm -hmm. Like I know where we were and where we were going. And part of that little having him turn his feet is like from his perspective, I know where he's standing and looking now. Nice Which, work, Tim Fallen. All right, let's go back to the pub, don't you think? Which can have been easy to do in 10 days. Right. I just think the way these creators are have to think about every single little detail uh, that that gamers are gonna go through that's just crazy right brain left brain stuff that i don't think oh, i could yeah. ever pull off i'm gonna ring that bell mm -hmm. ask you a couple more things please Darn right broken pub window let's do it how did the window get broken out round the back? I don't actually know. Um, someone said two girls were arguing outside. I okay. found out after they'd gone. Okay. And when was this? Last Friday, just after we opened, about half past six. I taped over it until I can get it fixed. We don't want people getting cut and suing us. Does that sort of thing happen a lot? Arguments? 
No, not really. I'm quite strict when that comes to borrowing clients. I don't think are um, suitable. Kate was not suitable. Hmm. She doesn't know about the window. She does. How about... Okay, I think we have a contradiction here now, right? Right, that, the, that Kate was... <clears throat> Kate was drunk, so she wasn't suitable, and she's strict about people who are not suitable. There's Got something about 6.30 and 7 here, too, right? So she mm -hmm. says, Kate finds death. Kate last saw in the pub last Friday approximately. I'm just going to try this. I don't know if this is going to work or not. But just the fact that there's two different times. Dang it. Okay. What about uh, yeah. strict about barring clients and Kate being drunk? Um, doesn't. Okay, barring clients, and Kate was very drunk. Oh, that seemed like a good one. Okay, anybody? How about the $20 for the breakage in the broken window? Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's totally, yeah. That's like a, that has to be it, right? This has to be it. Yeah, oh, nice work. Yay. So, you said Kate gave you £20 for a breakage, but you didn't have a breakage. That's right. Do you think the Let's payment could have been for the broken window? Could it have been Kate who was arguing? Well, I suppose it could have been, yeah. It could have been Kate, you're probably right, yeah. But you don't know who she was arguing with? No, I'm not sure. I'll ask around. Rebecca was doing Kate it. had broken the window. Rebecca really should have worked that out before now, unless she did. But why would she lie about that? From an from an acting standpoint, I would say that the actor playing Rebecca did a nicer job of, of hiding her her, mm, her guilt than, than Simon. Um, okay, Rebecca. And I like the way Rupert asks questions. He's just so charming and like. <laughs> There's a yeah. He seems to be having a lot of fun. This must have been a great time. Um, the auto. Oh, you guys are chatting away. Uh, Rebecca told Jenks about the argument in the pub last Friday. Wait, wait. This is new. What? Kate's argument. This is new, right? Oh, this is what we just found out. Kate. Kate. Rebecca told James about the argument in the pub last Friday. Kate's argument. Rebecca heard Kate arguing with someone outside the pub last Friday night. Okay. Um, I think we've done... But did she just tell him she didn't know anything about it? It could have been... I think there's any more? Uh... I mean, she didn't really give us any new information. Not really, other than he just right. thinks that she did know what the breakage was for. Mm -hmm, but it was she for lied. the window, but then she lied about that, and we don't know why. I'm going to do... Thank you. Probably be back later. Let's take a look at this thing here. So, Rebecca contradiction one. So, oh, you that. said Kate gave you £20. For okay. Broken pub window. Oh, this is just... Okay, all right. This is just information that we... Okay, so here's all the stuff that we've learned. Meeting Simon and Emma searching the lodge. Did we search the lodge? Oh yeah, okay. All right. Okay, what do you think? Should we hit the road? Yep, let's do it, let's hit the road. Should we ask for a hint or do you want to keep going Let's keep going this way towards... Going, maybe we'll find a clue. Yeah. So continue ahead along the patch or go right along the woods. I want to just see the map really quick. Go to the murder scene. Right here. Oh, this is the patch. And that's the woods, I think. So I think this might be where Eden Hall... Yeah, I think let's do that. Because something about Edenton Village was... How do I get out of here? Okay. Let's go this way. 
Yeah, look at that. We got the big old magnifying glass. All right, you ready? Edenton Village Hall. Does he ever take his hat off? That's Always nice. nice to randomly find a key on the floor. He finds so many things. How come no one else is looking around? All right, let's check that thing out. Dropped silver key. A silver key was found near the village hall. Try using this. Oh, the sound went away. Oh, there it is. It's back. Okay, well, I guess there's no use for the silver key here. Sorry. Okay. Well, we've seen two locked doors, right? Oh, this we saw the one at the pub, behind the pub. Uh huh. <clears throat> Wasn't there another locked door somewhere where we needed a key? Yeah, there was the, um, there was the chain, the chained um, lock, the padlock, right? Mm hmm. Improve your life, spiritual, intellectual, financial well, now, life. Isn't that interesting? What's interesting? Wait, what did it say? You want to say eight o'clock tonight? Oh, something at eight o'clock. See this in our in, in in the phantas world that would light up, the cursor would yeah. light up right here. Um, all right, I think we we found some good stuff here. Let's keep walking. This is working out pretty well. Uh, oh, that's the. Oh, now I'm a little turned around. Go ahead to the village center. Village center. Can we go to the murder scene and see if there's a clue? Yeah. Um, yeah, let's just scoot on over there. I'm going on the path to the right. Go left into the woods. All right, let's check a couple. Let's, I don't know. What's this? This is good. Ooh. <laughs> well, there we go. We've got a new person. Someone drinking some homebrew. I'm a police officer, oh, Detective no. Inspector Jenks. Please. It's all right, you can carry on if you want to. I'm just okay. going. I'm investigating a, a death in the village, Kate Vine. There was a death recently Hello, in the... I knew her. Well, this worked out. Well, could I ask you a few questions, please? A bit dark. Well, if you give me your name and address, I'll come later on. Where do you live? The house. And what's your name? The what house? The pub house? The, the pub or house? Or the clubhouse? The clubhouse. Club oh, wasn't was... that the place, be, wasn't it behind the pub? Yeah, maybe so. <laughs> Wood South Lake, go back to the junction. All right. I think that's James. That's my guess is it's James. Yeah, but you're right. Well, that worked out well. Let's go left. Mm -hmm. All right, now back into the woods. That's the lodge, okay. Yeah. Now we're going to go past along the right. Well, we did this already, and there's no one there. Okay, so now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just do this. We're here. Let's go here. Further into the woods or to the jetty? Have we done the jetty before? We did the jetty. Well, this is where we found the, the, the pendant, right? Uh, yeah. Left into the woods entrance. Come on, game. You can do it. There we go. Okay, so let's see if we can get into. What's this? Head toward Atlas. Go right into the clearing. This is kind of new. Have we seen this mm -hmm. before? Yeah, this is new, but... But there's nothing there. Okay, so let's go check out and see if we can get to Atlas. Ah, there we go. Head right toward Atlas. Ooh. Okay, Atlas Mouse. Can we get in the key? Can we use the key? Oh, it's open now. All right. Oh, great. It's so we can use the key for the, the other one. Yeah. I think Atlas has a ways to go to become the next Scientology. They don't seem to have quite the budget. As, no, uh, but it's 
There's you know, potential. Yeah, <laughs> there's potential. You got to start somewhere, <laughs> right? Um, let's go into the atrium. Ryan was interviewed in the lounge, according to the report. That must be his office. Well, I think in that case we should try. There's a reading room and the lounge door, and it seems like Jenks wants us to go in the lounge door. Should we follow Jenks's hunch, or should we veer off and go to the reading room? What do you say, Tori? I want to go to the lounge. Well, <laughs> I do too. I want to go to the lounge. <laughs> Nope. Um, Let's see what the door on the right is. We have to lounge later. It was a mislead. <laughs> it was a mislead. <laughs> Games tend to do that. Uh, hmm. Well, nice area. Nothing. Nothing to see here. No clue. Back to where you were. The door is... All right, back to the room. So there's, we can't do the lounge door. We can't, oh, can we try a key? Well, that was just a knock, right? So, turn to the hallway. Those are our only options. Well, ahead. that's weird because why did they let us in if we can't do anything? Wonder what's in the out building. So, oh, remember that? What was the, where was the out? You should also have some things you have assigned. The out building was locked. We have the key for that. I think it was the outbuilding. And where was the outbuilding? Behind the pub. Right. Well, let's check in with Simon and Emma first, and then we'll go to the outbuilding. Is that where James said he lived? I, I think where, so. Yeah, okay. I think, I think so. All right. Look at those pointy shoes. <laughs> okay, who should we talk to first this time? Uh, Emma. All right, I agree. What's Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. Yeah. Oh, it isn't worth. Okay. Broken. Well, we got a lot of things to ask. Of about. Yeah. Okay. Broken window. Lots. Okay. Here we go. Okay, Emma, you got. Know anything about the broken window, window at the pub around the back? The pub. Um, a broken window at the back. Yeah, I was yeah. having an argument. Yeah. Thought it was broken. When was that? I was in the pub on Monday with a college friend. With a oh, this is that I don't buy that a college mm -hmm. friend. It was okay. broken on Friday. Hmm. She was there on Monday. It was broken on Friday, right? Because she visited the pub on Monday. So that was three days later. Or was it before? Was it the Monday before the Friday? Well, then it wouldn't have been broken. Oh, no, it would be broken. That's why I'm thinking maybe she's lying. Oh, yeah. Well, she's definitely lying. We just don't know about what yet. Did you hear about an argument in the pub last Friday? No, I wasn't there. You weren't in the village? No, I went home last... Last Thursday night, actually, to see my parents. But you do visit the pub. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. I mean, I, I know Rebecca quite well. We we all went there quite a bit after college. Went home to see parents. F -f I mean, Thursday night. Knows Rebecca quite well. Went to the pub after college. I mean, she went to the pub after college. But I think Rebecca said... <clears throat> they were the co the college students were going to the pub. Oh right. So she was probably going during college. So we're gonna have to check out. It isn't worth asking about the silver key. All right. So let's see where some contradictions are. We have to kind of look through all this stuff again. So let's. What did we just learn? She went to see parents Thursday night. Knows Rebecca quite well. Went to the pub after college. Knows about the window. Visited the pub on Monday night with a friend. Necklace is Emma's, but she gave it to Kate. Necklace called a freedom necklace. Kate bought lots of jewelry. Okay. Where are we here? Uh, broken pendant. Didn't ask her about that. Didn't ask her well, about she said she doesn't like beer, but she went to the pub a lot. I don't know if that's worth it. Last saw Kate in college library on Thursday. So there, oh, wait a minute. She went home on Thursday. Oh. She says she went home on Thursday. 
I think this is my first one. You guys, I, that I, was a that's a good one. I think you've got that's two good. others, Tori, and I think someone on the chat this got one. Second. So wow. this one might be mine. Let's see, not that. Come on. That's a good one. Oh come on, no. What? No. I was so proud of myself. Saw oh. Kate in the college oh, library. She went home. Thursday night. See her parents late Thursday night. Dang it. Oh, All right. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So, okay. Next time I'm not going to be, <laughs> I'm not going to parade my, my brilliance <laughs> until I know for sure I did it. Uh, argumentative at college, had a drinking problem at college. Didn't see Kate very often. Well, are we, I don't know if we're missing. <laughs> Do you think we have anything? Does anybody think we have anything? Um, want to go see Simon? What did she say about the broken window? Can you go back to the broken window for a second? She knows about the broken pub window. Visited the pub on Monday night with a friend. I mean, I was going to say the fact that she doesn't drink beer, but the pub has more than just beer, but yeah. we can try it. That's not gonna hold up. Okay. Um, Tori Pub. Okay, so let's go see Simon. Uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. We collect our, our thoughts here. All right, let's find out about the pub window. Come on. Okay, game, you just gotta s stay with us for another couple minutes. All right, here we go. Get it. We'll try to get this ironed out for the next uh, next one. Do you know anything about a broken window at the pub? No, I don't really go to the pub very often. I'm not exactly a pub person. Hmm. Not a pub person. Doesn't know anything about the broken window. Claims he ha claims he hardly ever visits the pub. All right. Know anything about an argument at the pub last Friday? No, I didn't go to the pub last Friday. What did you do after the course? Just went home. Came here. Just came straight back. Hmm. What do you think? Doesn't know anything about the argument. Went straight home after Atlas last Friday. Rara Pass says she went to parents on Thursday, but she knows about the broken window that was in Friday, right? Well, she says she saw it on Monday. <laughs> Zuki says you can't trust someone who isn't a pub person. That's a good point. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe we should just go back to Emma and try that. <coughs> okay. Be back later on if that's okay. All right, so what was it that we saw? What, what are the things that we want to? Went to um, her parents on Thursday. No, knowing oh. about the broken window on Monday, but going to her parents Thursday, we could just try that. <laughs> there's that there's that moment where you're like waiting for it to turn green and then it doesn't it's uh it. it's pretty good they should have like some music like ding, uh, yeah. or, uh, um <laughs> all right let's hmm. see i think there's got to be a contradiction in here somewhere um okay that's it for now I thank know, you there's gotta be okay so Kate Vine's death. Last saw Kate at the Atlas meeting on Friday. Didn't socialize with Kate. Knew Kate at college. Only knew Kate for three months. Kate often seemed drunk at Atlas. Okay. That's... Wait, wait. Last saw her at the Atlas meeting, but didn't she also last see her at the library on Thursday? Oh. See? Oh, but la Friday's after Thursday. Well, what did she say about Thursday? Go... Went straight home after Atlas last Friday. She doesn't know anything about the argument. 
doesn't know anything about the broken window. Hmm. I think the talk to, uh, the contradiction has to be something one couldn't easily explain. You can make these work, I guess. Check out the pub. Yeah, let's go check out the pub outhouse. I don't know. Maybe yeah. this probably. We can always come back. Yeah, we can always come back. Thank you. Probably be back later. Yes, we do well. Where's my inventory? Is that my inventory? Show inventory. Where's my key? How do I get the key? Drop silver key. Try using this. There we go. Dang. Works like a charm. James, are you in here? Well, we're not going to leave the outbuilding yet. We have one. We have a oh. magnifying glass. Yeah, let's do the magnifying glass. We're going to pick something up on the floor. He's a picker-upper. Notice how they gave him a bag, unlike us, where we had to put everything in our pockets. Yeah. Smart. I wonder whose mask this is. Rebecca's or Ryan's? Wait, who's Ryan again? Have we met Ryan? Ryan is <clears throat> Rebecca's husband. But we haven't met him yet, right? No. A strange cardboard mask was found in a box marked Atlas in the pub. Oh, this is very uh, eyes wide shut. We got some good. Mm. Try using this. Probably can't use it yet. There's no use for the cardboard mask. Okay, well, that's good. All right, let's go see what's. I wonder if there's a. Just looks like junk, but it's too dark to tell. I need a flashlight. Do we have a flashlight? We don't have a flashlight, do we? No. I bet we're gonna find one somewhere, though. I'll bet we are too. All right. Um, I thought we were gonna run into James. Where's James? Is that where he said he lived? I can't remember. Like, is that what he said? He, I thought he said, we. you thought he said the pub house. And, and then yeah. they call it the outhouse. Which outbuilding. Is, so I think the outbuilding, the pub building. Is there another place around the pub? That... The matches. <laughs> Rara Pass says, Adrian, we need the matches. You got to go in. <laughs> uh yeah, James is in a building complex, right? So let's find out. It was the, what do you say, the out building? The, I thought he said like the pub house or something. The pub house. It sounded like pub house or clubhouse. Farmhouse. Oh, maybe <clears throat> it is the farmhouse. Where is the farmhouse? The farmhouse is at Abbey Farm. Let's check this out. Nothing here. According to the map, Abbey Farm is across the road there. Well, there you go. All right, thank you, everyone. You guys all got us here. Let's check this out. Close up, pointy shoes. Ring the doorbell, go up the steps. What do you think? Um, doorbell. Are you still have those kind of doorbells? Could I ask you a few more questions, please? Didn't take you long. Haven't got much time. A few more questions? You didn't ask me any questions. And what's he got on the shirt? Doors, <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got to see that again. Where do you want to sit? Oh, anywhere's fine. I uh, didn't quite catch your name. James, sit there. We knew it. Thank you, James. Mm -hmm. Why are you asking me about Cape Pie? Routine. You know Simon, don't you? Thompson. Why, what did he say? That you all went to college together, you and Kate. Is that right? Might have done. Right. Good enough. He's Kate. Might have. 
<laughs> might have done. All right. Um, all right. We got a lot of questions to ask this guy. All right. Wait, I think we're. All he asked him. Here's we. What's that? Yeah, um, we got we got all these here that we can yeah, ask. We have so, ask but we are pushing. We're at two twenty five. Thank you. This is Probably be back later. We're definitely going to be back later. Um. Yeah, that's a good place. I I liked. I missed it, but he made a really good snarky comment about having to close the door. All right. Um, I'm going to save the game. We did pretty good for our first time out. I didn't have too yeah, many. Yeah, I feel I, like we got a lot, John. A I. Uh, this sort of place game one with a copy of your current game. Yes. All right. Good. Now I'm going to get us to here. Oh. I think the music is quiet enough that we can actually wrap up. Okay. Sorry, we did it. Uh, so so tell me what we tell me what we know. Get, wrap me. You know. Now we're back in our our <laughs> investigator's office and we're we're going to talk through what we know. Who do you, who do you suspect? I suspect Rebecca, but um, we know, well, we know that everybody's lying. <laughs> yeah, totally. About something. And um, we know that, you know, we haven't really learned anything super concrete, but we no. know that there's, there's some um, inconsistencies about who knew her when. Like right. Who knew her in college? Who you know how long they've known her? And um, everyone so. seems guilty, mm -hmm. which I think is the point. Right. Um, so either they all had a reason to kill her, like in a classic Agatha Christie, uh, or you know, there's other relationships that happened. And, you know, it sounds like, according to everybody. Uh, Kate was a drunk, she was mean spirited, she had all kinds of, you know, personality issues. Mm -hmm. um, I'm wondering if there might be more to her than that. Um, I uh, also just somebody mentioned and I looked, uh, Rarifest says, so we've, we have, we've gotten 7% of the game so far. So, and we've only used one phone call and we haven't used any cheats. I don't know how you even use a cheat. So I think that's good that I don't know how because I might have wanted to use them. But but so far I think we're doing all right. Um, that's only seven percent of the game. Only seven percent of the game. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> we'll be here all year, everyone. Um, so I'm still shocked that they made it in ten days. If that's only if we've only played. 7% of it. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, totally. So, um, well, okay. Uh, I think I am available next week. Are you still available? Next I'm week? available next week, but the week after I won't be. I'll be in New York. Right. And I think the week after. Wait, next. This is this. Yeah, I'm out of town the week after, too. So we'll do next week for sure. And then we'll do the the week after, the two weeks after that, if that's okay. Um, all right. Actually, wait a minute. No, yeah. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I am. It's the 24th that I'm not available. Oh, okay. So I'm here the 10th and the 17th, but not the 24th. Okay. Well, we will. We'll, we're good for next week. That's the main thing. And then we yeah. will. Uh, oh, we might be. Yeah. Okay. We'll figure it out. We're definitely good for next week. So, um, Tori, thank you. It's so good to see you. It's fun to Great it's to fun you. to team up again, and it's fun to see how far the FMV gaming world has come since uh, our trailblazing days. Yeah. So. Yeah. No fidgeting. No. <laughs> no fidgeting. <laughs> Um, all right. Well, have a great rest of your week, and I will check in with you soon, and we'll we'll schedule for next week sometime. Okay. You too. Have a all great right. week. All right. You take care. Bye bye. Bye everyone. All right. Um, all right. Let me turn the game off so we can get rid of this. Um, gonna exit the game. Here we go. Hopefully, that's gonna slow things down. I'm. All right. All right.
Well, that worked out okay. Um, we will definitely make any changes that we need to try to make things go smoothly, more smoothly. But for the first time out and for my limited abilities technically, uh, I thought it went pretty well. So thank you all so much. We had a great group today. I'm really happy to have you. Um, I do, I don't really have anything else to say other than just to reiterate uh, uh, how much it would mean. Oh, by the way, let's see how we did on our tip goal. Did pretty good on our super chat goal. Our Twitch, I'm not sure who's on Twitch, but we, we need to work. <laughs> I need to, I think I need to, uh, to uh, work better on on Twitch. Um, but please, as I said earlier, uh, it would mean a lot if we could try to make up some of the loss that we made on uh, that we had on Patreon this week. If you could jump on there, it would mean a lot. Um, meanwhile, I just want to thank all of our current patrons. Uh, you can see that the numbers have dwindled a bit and we would love to make up some of these larger donors. Uh, we've lost a few in this area. And so glad that the folks that are here are sticking with us. And we sure would love you to help us out. So think about it and please join. And uh, we'll see you guys uh, next week. And uh, I never know how to end, end these things. So I'll just start by saying start. I will end. I'll just say goodbye. Take care, guys. Have a great uh, rest of your week. And we'll talk to you soon. All right. Take care. Bye.